How pathetic can some people be? There was no billboards where I grew up. Not enough people to advertise to. I grew up in Riggins, Idaho. 410 people and an hour from a stoplight. <laughs> Do you know those little rundown bowling alleys, single screen theater towns? I would have killed to live in one of those towns. <laughs> I have no sympathy for people who complain about how boring their town is. I'm like, really? A little slow here? You have a stoplight? Yeah? Then shut your pie hole, city slicker. <laughs> Slow's growing up pretending to play on the only paved road in town. When really, you're hoping to get kidnapped. <laughs> yes, I would like some candy. Shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll, creepy. <laughs> You know, it's not actually uh, that easy to get people to laugh about something like kidnapping. <laughs> no. Well day. done, sir. Well 33. done. 33.3 KCOC. You, you can only do that if you live in a small town. Uh, Brackenridge, Pennsylvania, about 22 miles north of Pittsburgh, okay? But it is a small town. Only 3,000 people live there. And uh, it has a volunteer firefighter department because... Yeah, that's what that's what you do. There's a teenager. When you live in small uh, towns. Patrick we, Gillis. We, we went to school in a very small town. That, that was all volunteer. I mean, there was a city fire department, did but you if you any, lived outside the city, it was all volunteer guys. Did you have any cl- of your classmates on the fire department? <laughs> was it that small? You mean in, in, in high, high school? school yeah. No, no. Not Patrick, that I know of. Patrick Gillis. Um, I don't know if he's in high school. He's 18. So maybe it's a possibility he could have graduated last year. He was bored, all right? He's a volunteer, a firefighter. So what he did was he decided to uh, set fire to a duplex where he once lived because he wanted to respond to a fire call because he wanted to have something to do. (laughs) Oh, my God. Wait a second. Wait a second. So we've talked to our friend Evan, who still lives up in the same small town that we went to school in. Uh And I was talking to him last summer. I see him when I go up there. And he was telling me that there was um, there was a volunteer firefighter that did something very much like this. Oh, really? Yeah. And so, so, yeah, he what he did is he admitted to putting a lighter and some pieces of paper inside of a microwave, turning it on, and then leaving the, rec- the residence. Oh, my gosh. Um, and this resulted uh, in a fire. Uh, that was reported on Monday afternoon. The authorities quickly determined that it was intentionally set in the kitchen because that there was a lighter in a microwave with pieces of paper. And the witnesses in the neighborhood said, yeah, that we saw we saw Pat. He was just... <laughs> the guy put was, it out. He was just there. Like what was, He was in the area right before the fire broke out. Then we noticed him return as one of the firefighters who was battling the blaze. They must get paid. I know it's called volunteer, but you volunteer to be there, but you still get... I know in in up in uh, Washington, where we went to school in Pullman, they pay the volunteers. So you're volunteering, but still you get paid per fire. So they have a budget set aside. That's what, run back to the fire station and go, oh, I have a good feeling we're going to have a fire to fight here in a minute. <laughs> That's uh, he. This guy did it to... Uh, to get paid, and they ended up catching know, him. I don't know, guys. I just have a feeling about something today. So, you know, I don't know if you should trust the volunteer fire department because they <laughs> get paid per fire. He was charged with arson <laughs> and causing a catastrophe and intentionally destroying an unoccupied structure Nice for purposes of boredom, I guess. <laughs> Fortunately for everyone involved, no injuries were hey, reported. Pat's killing it at the fire department, man. There's been seven fires this week. Hey guys, I don't serial know. arsonist. I know we list. haven't had a fire in a couple months, but I've got a good feeling about today. <laughs> Better make sure everything's working in that truck. <laughs> Damn, Pat, that's pretty great. Pat, chances are you probably aren't a volunteer firefighter anymore either. Uh, congratulations, the pyro, Pat Gillis of Brackenridge, Pennsylvania. You're Jeff and Jeremy's dumbass of the day. It's Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on 93.3 KZOZ.